Hey there, Heather Freeman here with the Paint and Playground. I get to teach women how to play with paint. And today I wanted to show you how you can make a painting journal with an old magazine. Um, I happened to get this one in the mail. I don't know why I keep getting this magazine, um, uh, but I do. And I thought, well, you know, I talk a lot about you know, using what you have and you don't necessarily have to have all these high end art materials to to paint on and to play with with your paint. So I thought I would show you how you can use a magazine for a journal, for a painting journal. And I've got this one and it's kind of a glossy, a glossy magazine. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna use it. I'm gonna show you how you can you can prep it if you want to, um, or you can just use it as is. So if you're joining me, uh, watching me live, let me know you're here. Say hello. Would like to say uh, would love to say hello back. And if you're watching the replay, just type in below watching the replay. Um, hope you're having. It's a great day for for fall. It's the first day of fall. So wahoo to that. Um, saying goodbye to summer and hello to fall. So changing in the seasons, it's always a good time of the year. All right, so what I have is my magazine. I just wanna share with you the materials that I have. I've got a ma my magazine that I'm gonna be repurposing for a journal. I've got some paints um, so we can try out with just going with straight on with paint. And then I have some gesso. So a gesso is another way you can kind of prep your, your um, surface area. So when, for something like this, you know, I'm gonna see, let's just see how it goes. This is a more glossy magazine, so it may take the acrylic paints really well. And I can just do, we can just play around and just put paint straight on here. Or we might have to do a little bit of gesso, which will give a little bit more tooth for when I do put the uh, acrylic paint on for that paint to hold. So. Uh, one of the first ways that let's just try it out we'll try out with some you know if you are comfortable so there's you know a lot of images on here and sometimes you might find that distracting um, to get started with painting so if you do you can put down some gesso or some white paint but right now I've got a clear gesso this is what I have on hand so this is what I'm going to use and you can use, you know, depending on how big your, your, um, hello from Connecticut. Hi, Nancy. Um, so depending on how big your magazine is, it's going to be easier to cover a surface with a bigger paintbrush. So I've got a quarter inch, but I'm going to go with my half inch right now because it's going to be easier because I'm just cut, I'm just putting a layer down, um, and I just want to get it covered. And so this is a, a gesso. It looks white but it's, this one is gonna actually dry clear. And this is going to give me a surface that will take the paint when I'm ready to put the paint down. Because this is such a high gloss magazine, the gesso for sure will give me the surface that'll allow me to put acrylic paint down and that acrylic paint will stay. So there's my layer of gesso. We'll try that on that page. And then we're going to let that dry a little bit. Hello Nisrin. Happy day to you. I'm going to rinse this out. And I want to show you on this other page. So you know, there's a lot going on. Although um, this is fun, you could you know paint over this and make this part of your painting uh, by painting over this face image. Um, you know, some people might find that a little bit distracting and a little bit um, you know intimidating to be able just to start and jump into painting. So it might be helpful if that is you to cover that up. And so. Gesso comes in, this is a clear one, but it also comes in white. And I have some, it's just stored away right now because I'm in the middle of moving studios. So 
So some things I just can't find. I thought I wouldn't, didn't think I would need and it's packed away. That's not closing for some reason. Um, but I use a, a half inch paintbrush on this page, but you know what? You can also use like an old credit card. If you're just looking to get paint down, get a layer down, credit card is a great way just to smush it around and get it down easy. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna lay a layer of white down. Because all I'm interested in is just covering up that image because I don't want to see anything. I just want a nice, like I'm working on a clean new canvas. So I'm just going to use this card to get it around onto the page. And for me, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a clear white. Like this is enough coverage that I feel like I can step into the painting and have a fresh start. I can't really tell what's underneath. So it doesn't have to necessarily look like a fresh white canvas, but the more I smush this around, use my card, I'm able to kind of get more of a flat surface. See how that worked there? So that's another way that you can just cover a page and once this dries, you've got a fresh new page to paint on and to play on. And it, just, it feels a little um, less intimidating because I'm repurposing something. Um, you know, I often use my mixed media pads. Like my Canva ones. So these are great for just sketching in and painting in and just making a mess in. But it's also really nice. Um, you know, these are affordable, but it's also really nice just to use reuse a magazine. Instead of recycling it, you can pull it out of the recycling bin. And there's so many pages. You know, many more. I think I got paint on me again. Or maybe it's just my hair turning white, which it is doing. <laughs> um, so reusing something is really nice because there are a lot of pages and many more so than are in, oh no, I'm just making a mess over here. Um, many more sometimes than are in my sketchbook. So this is a great way to really be able to give myself permission to let loose in play because there are so many pages and this just came to me. I didn't, I didn't actually purchase this magazine. Um, they just sent it to me in the, in the mail. Uh, and so I'm going to reuse it and, and use it for some painting. And so this one is pretty dry and when you feel it, it feels rough. So it has that texture where it's going to hold that paint. Um, and it's going to, that glossiness, um, we'll see, I'm going to try some color on here and we'll see what happens over here. But, um, this is definitely going to hold my paint when I'm ready to paint. All right. So this is gonna dry here like this. Let's see if I can do this. It might stick, but that's fine. So, and if you want, you can go straight on with color. I'm just gonna let that sit like that. So if you would prefer to start out with some color rather than having a white surface to paint, and this is with acrylic paint, it's a little craft paint. And again, I'm just smushing this around. This is more of a craft paintbrush. So I really am just smushing and getting this surface covered because I want it covered just enough so that I can't really tell what the image is underneath and I feel like I'm working on a new surface. And I can tell this page, I, I watered down this paint a little bit. Hi, Nancy. Oh, I'm glad you caught this too. So yeah, let me know if you've ever repurposed a magazine for a journal. I think it's a great way to use your resources that you have. This one already came in the mail to me. Um, even if you purchased your magazine, and I know sometimes magazines are fun to keep. And I definitely have some that are more my crafting and painting magazines that I would, wouldn't paint on because I like to refer back to them. 
But this is a magazine. I don't even read this magazine. I'm not sure why it came to me, but they sent it to me and it's got lots of pages and I thought this would be perfect. You can just make it into a sketch, you know, book or, or just a playbook for painting. Not really, and it just gives you that freedom to, to play. So this is drying nice and quick. And this page is um, starting to warp a little bit because this is a thinner paint. So you might want to consider just clipping this down if that happens to you and you're doing more than one page at once. Just clip it down and, and give yourself some time to let this dry and dry flat. Otherwise, when you're done, you could always close it up, put a book on top um, and dry it that way. All right. So that is that paint, and I can tell this one's drying really quick. So I'm just gonna put one more layer on that. Because I can still see her face just enough. But again, like that might be something really fun to play with, right? When you can just kind of see that image a little bit and use those lines. So there's that. And that's what it's all about, is just being able to play. So this one's still drying. This one's got the dress, so it's got, now got some white paint on it. That'll work too. But so three different pages, three different ways you can prep your, your, um, your magazine and make it into a painting journal that you can play with. So you can add, you know, gesso if you've got gesso. This was a clear gesso and you know, if you don't mind being able to see the image underneath and you can just paint straight on that and you know that the paint will stay. Um, or you can get a white gesso, which um, would be a lot like, you know, would look a lot like this paint. Uh, so, or you can just paint right on with white paint. Or you can just paint, start painting right on and not even worry about the image. Just start playing with color, put your color down, whatever color you feel drawn to in the moment and uh, lay that down for your first layer. So fun. You can then fill up these pages, let them dry. You can go, you can fill them all up at once by doing whatever method works best for you. If you, if you feel like you want to cover all your pages and then come back and start painting, you can do that or you can do it as you go um, as part of your day. So like at, maybe once a day you want to do a page and so you'll once a day, you'll cover up that page with some gesso, let that dry, and then play on that. And then work your way through the journal. So uh, that could be a fun, really fun way for you to step into painting and let yourself play and let yourself enjoy the process by repurposing a magazine and turning it into a journal. So I hope you found that helpful today. If you like it, give me a thumbs up below, let me know, and um, yeah. We'll see you next time at the canvas. All right. Bye for now.